guys, this is Barbara Fernandez. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to project the screen of your iPad on the computer. It's COVID-19, and this is definitely one of the most requested emails I have gotten over the several months. I can't believe it's been several months. Well, so today I'm going to show you a way to use an app called Reflector. I have a version 3, Reflector 3. That means there should be a Reflector 1 and 2. So today I'm going to be using Reflector 3, which is installed on my Mac. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to get a hold of Reflector 3, open it up and get it set up to display your iPad on your computer. I know a lot of you are doing virtual meetings, either if you're a teacher or a speech therapist or doing any kind of services with children online, you are needing a way to display the amazing apps, some of the ones that I have created, on the computer screen to make it more dynamic. So this is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys Reflector 3 by showing my iPad screen. Okay, so Reflector didn't pop up on the App Store, which is unexpected. So let's go ahead and type Reflector 3 directly on the web and see what we get. And there it is. Reflector 3 is designed by a company called Air Squirrels. And I see that they actually have a Mac and a Windows version here. This is what we are looking at here on their website, a wireless screen mirroring application, which you can buy or you can try. So you can try for seven days. Go ahead and download it because you definitely will use it. So this is Reflector 3. You can't get it on the Mac App Store, but you can get directly on their website and it's $17. I already had Reflector 3. I forgot I had it. So I opened up Reflector 3 here. And so what happens is once Reflector 3 is running on your computer, you will be able to actually open your iPad, which I'm gonna go do it now. All right, so this is my iPad screen, which you're seeing now. And what we are doing is swiping on the right corner, and then we tap on screen mirroring. You see right now, screen mirroring only offers me to screen the iPad screen on my Apple TVs. I have one in the bedroom and I have one in the living room. So now when I actually open my Reflector 3 app, I will be able to see the option here of reflecting my iPad screen on my Mac. And then I'm going to get a code, which is a code like this, on my Mac to connect. And I'm going to enter the code to connect my iPad to the computer screen. Let's try again. I probably typed in the wrong one, the wrong code. All right, guys. And so I managed to get this happen, to get this to work. And what was happening is that since I was recording on my iPad at the same time as I was doing this video, the screen, the reflector didn't want to connect to my iPad. I was doing two things at once. but. What you're looking at is actually my computer screen. And I want to show you guys, turn around my camera and show you guys my setup here. But one of my favorite things is that now you see I can make this really big. And if you're using a third party telehealth platform or any kind of platform where you're sharing your computer screen, now you can use these apps. Now, obviously, the child can't touch on what you see. You have to do all the touches for the child. As promised, I wanted to show you guys my setup here. I apologize for the mess. This is just how it is. You see, this is my iPad and this is my MacBook. And these are my fingers. So. Here, see if I can get this cable out of the way. I'm gonna set, show you I have my reflector open. You swipe, you click screen mirror, 
Barbara's MacBook Pro and I was going to ask me for that code that I had issues because I was recording at the same time. So if I enter the correct number, what you will see is the miracle of both screens. Let's move this cable out of the way, including my legs here showing at the same place. So now you see my apps and we can open up the amazing Smarty Ears apps both on my amazing iPad Pro and on my computer. So all I have to do now to share the screen with a child is by sharing like what you already typically do which is to share your iPad, your computer screen on whatever platform you use, if it's Zoom or a specific speech therapy or telehealth or educational platform for virtual therapy or virtual classroom, I guess. So it works just as easy as selecting an app and you see it's really synchronized. The audio is coming out from my computer, not from my iPad. And as you, you saw this, you can make it bigger. And I go ahead and select my activity. Furry dog. Furry dog. And the screen is appearing right Furry here. Furry dog. Now, green frog. The Mac is not touch screen. So you will always have to manipulate the iPad, not your computer screen. Well, the child will hear the audio. What matters is the dynamics of using all the hundreds of apps that you have already on your iPad, now on your computer. So this was it for your tutorial on how to connect and display your iPad screen on a MacBook. I hope it was helpful since we know that Reflector 3 allows it to connect to both Mac or Windows, I mean, download the app on either Mac, Mac or Windows, you'll be able to hopefully do the same process on your Windows computer. But I'm sure if you visit the Reflector website, they'll have tons of tips on how to use their own app. I hope you guys are staying safe and take care. Bye.